um, I want to create something that will fit uh, properly on your foot. Well, on my on my feet, and mm -hmm. uh, that's why I have um, drawn a little graph here with some foot measurements, and I have taken the picture. Um, so uh, what I would like to do today is to create to amend this last that I've got here, which is the men's athletic last. Um, mm -hmm to my foot measurements and once I've done that then I can create whatever I want on top of it um, and then I'll just go from there. Okay, okay. And so, so the goal is to print, also print your design later? Yes, to 3D I print. like to print, 3D print it and to wear it this summer. Okay, yeah. So we will probably continue with second part of the workshop where, where we will refine and edit and prepare the data for 3D printing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, 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 Ting. Hi. Hi. So, <laughs> Ting is a young uh, product designer, uh, industrial designer from California, and you have also a degree in vehicle engineering, correct? Yes, yes. back in China. And what are you focusing on these days? What are you designing? Uh, so I'm freelancing right now, and uh, uh, I, I like I my major was uh, product design, and I have a strong interest in entertainment and user experience. So nowadays I'm working on like uh, different projects, uh, working on the digital uh, 3D modelings, 3D art, and some UI UX projects okay so and when did you finish your master like last year or uh uh yeah yeah december yeah, yeah december oh cool and you are still in uh, in california you're california based yeah um yeah i mean uh right now at bay area okay okay and what is your goal for today workshop for today creating session so thinking about summer, I uh, the place I live in here is really close to nature, and like in the summer there will be a lot of orange trees, lemon mm -hmm. trees, and mm -hmm. squirrels running around. So I'm thinking I want to make that connection to uh, the environment around. So my I'm gonna make the uh, sandal that. <laughs> I'll make the sandal that is inspired by the form of squirrels. Okay. So the shoe store will be like a uh, squirrel um, tail shape inspired. Okay. Yeah, I plan to 3D print it too, <laughs> and I measure my foot too. Okay, so so here is your inspiration board for the summer sport gear, or like this is your work. I remember this suit. Maybe I can show. Yeah, this was building gravity. There, yeah, both, this yeah, one. yeah, both models are I showed are built in gravity sketch. Okay. Um, yeah, like I really like for me design it's really about understanding uh, the culture, the background mm -hmm. and everything in context and then uh, start to uh, find the needs and uh, build out uh, the idea and the most important part for me as a designer is visualize everything and I think gravity sketch is a really useful tool to quickly visualize mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. yeah cool and plus it's 3d in the VR so it's like when did uh, when did you discover gravity sketch uh, in spring 2019 okay so almost for two two years working on this. Cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you thank so you. much for being here. And I'm moving to Elisa. Hi Elisa. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Doing great. Like not stressing at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Elisa is a young designer from Austria, but you were studying in the US for yes. your footwear and garment uh, design studies, correct? For your master's? Yes, for design. 
Okay. So so you start started to study industrial design and then you specified on the footwear design? Exactly. And then somehow now I'm also doing apparel design. Oh, okay. And like when did you specialize? Like after bachelor's? How how does it work? In... Yeah, no, I, like I had one thesis project um where I did apparel. Okay. But I more got the power jobs since I graduated than footwear, <laughs> which okay. is really interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. And I see like you have some uh, also like 3D printed models. Like, like yeah. did you make some models into the production? Like, do you have some? <laughs> Not yet. But you are Not working with Jeezy? Rune? I was working with Jeezy, um, Wood. And now with some with Binan and mostly it was clothing. Um, okay. Yeah. Also, you are also like doing clothing for them and bags and accessories. Oh, okay, yes. nice. Okay, okay. So this one is also 3D printed, like this shoe yeah. here. It's 3D printed, but it's not like working, working. Like uh -huh. it I would see. work, but it needs further development. Okay, I see. And like these material materials, what do you use for 3D so printing? This one, the second one in the second row, I was actually building by myself. Um, it's EVA foam, and then you can just sand it down. Oh, what, uh, what, what was the material again? EVA. Uh -huh, okay. It's like the, the foam, what footwear... Ah, I know, for the sandals from flip flops. Yeah. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Sand it down super easily. Ah, okay. And this one is 3D printed. Yes. And it's TPU, thermopolyurethane. It is just like, um, no, it's like a very difficult or like very hard material. So it's ah, like so it's not, not flexible. flexible. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, I see. It's just normal 3D print with, yeah, I don't know exactly okay. what material it is. Okay, okay. We have Elisa here. Okay, and what is your? What are you going to create today? Like, what's your plan for the summer shoe wear collection? I usually really get inspired by nature, by clouds. Okay. Um, oh, by clouds. Yeah. Sky. Okay. So I want to go into like something sky, summer, you know, very light, and okay. I really love in general like art. Um, sculptures and everything and furniture so maybe like finding a balance between all this something elegant but still very um, organic and with like a lot of flow and energy in it mm -hmm. um, I don't really have an exact idea yet so okay, <laughs> okay me neither that's good <laughs> okay okay great I will let you, will let you idea it. thank you thank you for joining us yeah. <laughs> okay, I will just check if the sound is okay on YouTube. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay, I will just check the echo. Okay, guys, on the Skype, can you please check if the sound is better on the Skype? Yes. Uh, but, uh, like, I'm not sure if the YouTube is. So, so my dear student, Tomasz Kolczka, can you check if the sound is okay on the YouTube? Okay. Mako Sitam, Mako, are you there? Yeah. Can you can you please check how is the YouTube sound quality? Sorry again. Can you say can you say it again, Tomash? Uh, okay yeah guys on the youtube if you have the, if you have the echo like just try to reload the page yeah great okay now we see ekaterina 
So you are really working on a huge scale, I see. <laughs> yeah, because so this is like the correct silhouette of your of your foot. Mm -hmm. uh, but for some people use photogrammetry. Um, okay. Never used, but I would like to give it a go where you can just take pictures from different angles of one object and just create that 3D model for you. Okay. Um, or like body scanner. But I just used um, this last event to. So this is import from gravity, yeah? It's the. Or? Like this, this foot. No, it's not from gravity. It's not here. In the yeah. in the mockups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is from gravity. Ah, okay. Um, ah, it's there. Okay. I'm not sure. I can. S I have to show mine. Mhm. Mm okay. So I think I have to. Switch on the on the OBS. sound on a youtube right now and now um I'm, i'll check like there's a delay so okay um i don't know still still nothing there can you hear me like over skype over youtube Okay, yeah, okay now you can like hear me? Going. It's good? Okay. Okay, we have a thing here. Hi, hi. So you started with already with some ideation. Okay, think. You started with some ideation. I see. Oh, sorry, I moved your image. <laughs> okay. Where did you find the leg? It's in the gravity sketch import mm -hmm. uh, gallery models, I think. Okay. 
Yeah, there's like a pre pre built pre built foot, and I scaled it down to my own measurement. Okay, I see. Good. And Elisa is ideating. Okay, Tomasz, is the sound okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Like there was some some noise, uh, like right after we spoke, but right now it's it's all right. Okay, thanks. So I think I will ideate too a bit here. What's your what's your inspiration? Hmm. Like usually for for shoes, it's more mostly like textures and some like abstract sculptures as I have here in my mood board, I would say, or like this kind of images where you have a lot of translucent and different kind of materials. So I think I will go and try to create something like in this kind of direction. Okay. But I think I will ideate first to yeah. So what I am doing here, I'm just doodling maybe like the top view of the of the sandal very loosely just to find some interesting shape or some feature I like. Here you can loop the the stroke, so it's like one closed line. Okay. 
Okay, Elisa. And how do you start ide with the ideation process? So sometimes I'm going back into like the inspiration and like trying to trace the shape I'm seeing. Um, or like try to get some sort of flow or energy out of it. And then I try just, you know, to try different shapes or like to see, okay, what works, what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I'm not really satisfied yet with my ideas or like with the two shapes. So mm -hmm. I kind of went back into it. And here I'm like trying to get down um, mm -hmm. the former like and see okay how can I translate it into footwear so okay yeah, let's, see. let's see I literally have no idea where this is going so so you really like this fluid and dynamic kind of shapes and lines yeah definitely like I, I love and everything is sort of in a flow and in, in, a, in an energy um okay so yeah yeah okay okay how do you start? I don't know, like similarly like you do, just with a lot of hand strokes and like some free lines and then I'm trying to find something there. <laughs> yeah. Also exactly. it's similar for, for the when I sketch cars, it's like it's like this, like when I start with the side view, it's like you are searching for something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're just trying to see okay what's gonna work and yeah. what not. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I, I have an idea how to start and like if I, I have some kind of shape or feature in my head, but sometimes it's like super like random and fluid and like the workflow is like part of the, like the creative ideation is part of the, of the workflow. So yeah, I can yeah. relate to this. <laughs> yeah, I also like to draw with the mirror. So you kind of like, immediately have like some sort of 3d it's mm -hmm. not like only 2d so yeah i like that too yeah cool yeah we'll come back okay thing you started with some heel design yeah <laughs> okay yeah i find the sub d really convenient for sculpting like his details ah, okay combine, so, uh -huh. like combining the curve curvature surface tool and the sub d okay can really make some clean shapes for me okay so this is like your workflow you just create you usually create line uh sketch and then you decrease the opacity and then you start with the sub d i usually like based on the shapes so for this one because uh, I observe it and uh, at the top part okay. like there's line of very, very clean line and then then uh, there are like details to break down so I uh, use the this surface tool to make it the um, to do this let me see to do like yeah to make the surface yeah I make a surface first and then cut half of it. Okay. And then turn it into sub D to work more in like, detail. Yeah, in detail. Mm -hmm. And then you will probably extrude it, yeah? Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to ask like, when you design shoes, girls, like, do you use the symmetry tool in the beginning or you just go with the, with the form? Like, how are you designing shoes usually? Uh, Katerina? Uh, so it depends. Um, it depends what design you have in mind, but I think symmetry does help. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it really depends on the design. I think most of the designers use symmetry and then they, they just bake it and then uh, adjust the inside of the design. Um, so definitely recommend it. So it depends like on what are you designing, like when it's like, it yeah. helps in the beginning, for example, the sneakers, no, it's like it can be symmetrical and then you just make the curvature of the, of the, of the foot, yeah? Yeah, but okay. then again, if, if your initial design is, um, uh, to have symmetry, then 
we can just start with with the right side and then just continue. Okay. To, sorry, let's start with the outside and then continue to the inside. I don't know, these are not my toe. <laughs> Um, after you designed in uh, symmetric, uh, symmetrically, and how do you change it to like asymmetric shape? Uh, and you just um, oh you sorry, just... I did it again. <laughs> okay, so now you are redesigning your foot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the base is important. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And which software girls do you use for three D printing or for the data refinement? Like when you export it from Gravity Sketch, how do you continue? I use Fusion 360 and Mesh Mixer. Um, okay. I also um, I like Blender. Okay. Um, and I've been learning about Blender um, for the past four months, um, which is really good tool. Um, but also depends on what is it that you want to do with the model. Okay. Blender is good for texturing and then. Um, Voronoi effect, uh, which is like a mesh effect, um, can be created by going into the mesh mixer and then going to a Voronoi website mm -hmm. um, and then back again to mesh mixer and then uh, back again to Fusion 360. So, okay. So it depends. And do you design uh, shoes and like footwear also just with your hands and? with papers and pencils like it's possible to it's possible to skip also this digital sculpting and creating i think it's good to um have an idea before you go to the gravity sketch okay what is it you want to create okay. it doesn't have to be um precise it doesn't have to be spot on but um just an idea and then uh, you know you can explore different shapes uh, in 3D and gravity sketch, um, which is the great benefit of gravity sketch. Okay, so it's better to have a vision and then some kind I, of direction before you step inside. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, thanks. And Elisa, how about you? Like, how do you do you create shoes also like without the digital tools, like just with your I hands? I have to sketch with like with the pen and the yeah. post um, okay. That's like the, my usually my first way before I get into like gravity sketch or like any other programs. Um, sometimes I start ideating in gravity sketch, um, but I also like usually to have like an idea first or like a direction. Okay. Uh, and then you were asking before about the treating printing part. Yeah. So. I know people are using a lot Blender. I haven't used Blender yet. I only use Fusion 360, and that works good. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're refining in in the F Fusion 360 or Blender, and yeah, you start with the prototyping. Yeah. And like, but also like here on the sandal, like it's a mixed technology, you no? Know? Like you are sanding this by hand, and then you are sewing this fabric. For yeah, exactly. So this uh, shoe was not done in Gravity Sketch at all. This was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I sewed it and I constructed it by myself with like the sanding machine and with like a lot of, um, like it was literally only sanding, I almost would say. Okay. So, yeah, and the upper was just like two together. Um, and yeah, that was like done in a footwear design construction class I had in school like a year ago. 
Okay, okay. And what do you enjoy the most, like the physical creation or the di digital process? Wow, I, I don't know. It really depends. Um, like I haven't used Quality Sketch, uh, Quality Sketch like for almost a year, and I got back like two weeks ago, and I was like, wow, <laughs> so much. So okay, yeah, okay. And, I'm also missing like real workshops where you, I can build shoes right away and they're like right there in my hand and they're working. So I miss like I just like both really love. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. I'm trying to merge digital and analog together. Um, I think both of them have like really strong um, ways how to complete or create your ideas. So yeah it's both it depends like you get yeah. bored from something and then you just change the the process or like you go from sketching to blender and like yeah yeah exactly. yeah yeah i can imagine like yeah <laughs> it's a good change good <laughs> good that is like the the best part of the designer job i think like you 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 have so many like possibilities how to how to create the work workflow so so you enjoy it yeah exactly and it really depends also on like you know what skills you have and sometimes you know when i'm trying to build something physically i don't have all the tools or or everything to build it so i'm like maybe going more digitally so it really depends like on what you have um mm -hmm. what you know of course you always learn more things um yeah but sometimes it's also about timing but, and then you just have to be fast in something and yeah yeah you just grab a pen and paper and that's the, still the <laughs> fastest option <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay and think what about you how do you prefer your workflow and designing process what um, do you enjoy the most i I really enjoy like, doing like for, um, design of forms, <laughs> um, like three D visualizing and making like really good pictures for people to feel the idea. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoy you that. You really like the visual visualization part, yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. it doesn't matter if it's from render or it's like a sketch or uh, sketch rendering uh -huh. textures or even in environment mm -hmm. um, yeah like I like for gravity sketch uh, I usually um, I usually actually started a sketch on paper first Okay. Like maybe very simple ideas, and then put in graph sketch to like roughly um, model it out and to see what's going on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go back. Yeah. So, to... so it's like you, so you use it like a testing of, uh, software. Like you have an idea and you test it here in three D. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. And and. Uh, yeah, I use Blender. Um, okay. Uh, rhinos, like to do, like yeah, uh, prototyping. Mm -hmm. Prototyping or other types of adjustment. Okay. Yeah, sometimes like they are hurt my eyes like for staying too long, <laughs> and I just try like go back to Blender to do this like very like surface modeling things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And can I have a question? Yes, go ahead, uh, Samuli. Um, do you also have experience on uh, other uh, VR softwares? Uh, like I could imagine, like I, I just a few weeks ago, I, I tried first time this uh, Adobe Medium, just kind of sculpting. Ah, you were telling me. Do you girls yeah. know uh, Ad Adobe Medium? Yes, I've seen some videos of it, and um, it looks pretty cool, but um, I haven't tried it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I catch Erin, I was, yeah, talking. Yeah. yeah. I've seen some videos of it, but I haven't tried it yet. It looks very okay. nice. 
yeah, it, it looks looks really cool uh, for kind of sculpting things. And, and like, how does it work? Like, it, it has a sub D and mesh, Samuli, or? Yes, yes, it, it has a, a sub D kind of mesh, but it's it's more like uh, the tools are to make like a, resemble more like a sculptor's. Tools. And the name of the software is Adobe Medium. Adobe Medium. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess, but it it works only on like a PC platform with VR, so it doesn't work directly with uh, like in Oculus. Oculus Quest. Quest. It works on Oculus. Via... But you need PC. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And have you tr- have you tried the tilt brush, guys? I haven't tried it, but it also looks. Cool. Yeah, it's more like sketching tools where you cannot. Um... Oh yes, I have tried some brush. Yeah. Yeah, and how did you like it? Um. Yes, I actually tried it a couple of years ago. Um, it was fun. I quite like drawing in the dark space with all this. Little... I had the dark space. That's nice. And when yeah. when you can use the lighting elements and lighting brush. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's more for like painting and yeah. uh, it's more like artistic uh, media rather than design media, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But it's fun and it's like for kids it's like they enjoy it so much, so yeah. yeah. Okay, I will try to sculpt something. And why did you girls decide to study footwear design? What's the most attractive part of it for you? Uh, for me, footwear design um, came unexpectedly because um, I thought that always, I thought that I would do fashion. Okay. And, uh, but it was actually my teacher during my uh, foundation degree um which I studied for two years. I did different projects and they involved mostly sustainability and I like to spend my time in the workshop where they had um hammers and all this heavy, heavy tools. Really? Um, yeah. You I really enjoyed the workshop and the physical like yeah. part of the process. Okay making and just uh, just working with your hands ex- hands experimenting and just trying different ideas um i have never been digital at all i still enjoy um just experimenting with your hands and um just stitching and you know actually molding um you know shapes by mm-hmm. sanding it down um but this is very it's like it's like an extra tool it's not a replacement okay so when I finished my foundation degree um I was gonna apply to the fashion course uh okay my teacher said that I should really um go for accessories or you know footwear okay and um so I just listened to her choice and it you know it turned out to be the right one Really? Because like yeah. you have also a lot of you design also handbags, no, I remember. Yes, I handbags I, I, kind of jewelry, if I remember correctly. Um yes, I, I've worked on some packaging and uh, some handbags during my university, yes. And also when okay. I worked in Dubai I um worked with buyers on designing handbags, um accessories and ladies' footwear as well. I do enjoy different, um, you know, fashion or footwear, um, but because I specialize in footwear, um, okay. you, know, you just go where your skills are and where you spend most uh-huh. of the time studying, okay. where you can make the most impact. And for me, um, 
if the, the designers could focus, like I focus on sustainability and I just love the fact that, you know, there, there are so, so many things that, um, you know, so many so much technology that we can use now to be able to um, change it into sustainable direction. Okay. And, and so, so you are really into the materials options and new technologies and how to optimize the process. To, to be able to recycle everything and make it like zero waste? I'm really into innovation and um, I think everything that we see around us is an innovation. Okay. Um, they has been created, but sometimes, um, you know, we, we see designs and innovation that later on we realize that they have made um, not a sustainable impact. And I think th this is the time where we need to concentrate on uh, the future and really think about the life cycle of the whole product. Okay. Where it's going to end up and what can we do in order to reduce the waste. So there are a lot of biodegradable materials that we can do um, okay. instead of uh, creating physical samples, uh, learn how to create digital samples, how to mm -hmm. make 3D print uh, from sustainable or biodegradable materials, um, parts of the shoe, um, instead of using the physical last, you can use a digital last. So all of that is just, um, you know, really wonderful. And I think it will make a big difference in the future if we, if we concentrate on solving these problems. And do you think, do you, do you see like it's improving already? Yes, and I think a lot, of, a lot of people are now, uh, when I was studying, uh, sustainability has always been on my mind and all my projects were about sustainability. However, when I started working, um, I, I saw sustainability nowhere. Um, but okay. luckily, um, I think more and more people are now open-minded and consumers are actually looking for those uh, sustainable solutions. Um, and there is a lot of advocates, um, you know, who do ask for transparency um, and mm -hmm. for brands to really be more sustainable and cautious about the, the impact. Okay. So, I, but like, I think it's also like it goes hand in, uh, hand, in hand with the fashion industry, doesn't it? Because yeah. like we, we see a lot of like changes in the fashion industry since there was the the explosion in where was it in Bangladesh, and then they revealed like how how poorly they treated the manufacturers and like the workers like who made our t-shirts and garments, and then the, the revolution kind of started no in two thousand eleven I think like with this upcycling and like recycling cultural movement i would say yeah and i i would say you know even if you sometimes not sure about something supporting those brands and just telling them that they're doing really well and encouraging them always helps it just mm -hmm. makes them continue because i think sustainability is a hard road to take um and you know, the, those designers, I do believe they, they need that. Mm -hmm. And there is more pressure from, I think, the public, public to make it more sustainable. And then they really need to make an effort to make it ethical. And yeah, it is like kind of the slow movement, like slow fashion movement. It's... Yeah coming also into the food industry i think what do uh, you girls think <laughs> sorry so, sorry is the room where you are is is it the girls vr room or oh, we are in the girls vr you can join us samuli yeah yeah i was thinking if i can join even yeah though. sure join us <laughs> we w we want to see some male opinion about the summer <laughs> footwear <Okay. laughs> 
Um, there's also a question on YouTube okay. uh, by Tom Humphrey, and he's asking, what do you think of Gravity Sketch on iPads? Oh, I haven't tried that yet, but I want to try it. It looks so cool. Yeah. I don't it's have just... iPad. Like, I was asking them to make it on <laughs> Vacom and other <laughs> soft uh, tablets, so I hope they make it. Like, I don't know. Think, think did you try the iPad? Uh, I just downloaded it. <laughs> okay. There are so many tutorials I need to watch. <laughs> Sorry? There are many tutorials that you need oh, yeah. to watch. Yeah. Yeah. And on Instagram, like everybody is sketching with that, but yeah. Yeah. Somebody... I had to get a new iPad. My iPad is so old, like it doesn't work for gravity sketch anymore. Oh, yeah. Samuli, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm here now. You are the, the purple one. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, took me out at the first attempt, but now, now, I'm, now I'm in. Okay. Oh no, it kicked me out again. <laughs> it's crashing. It's. I will have to uh, connect it, connect my Quest to my PC and, and try if it works better. Ah, oh, okay. You think it's crashing because it's in the quest? Yeah, it might be too much information oh, to okay. have handle for the quest alone. Ah, oh, yeah, you have this problem always when you have classes. No. Oh, wow, this looks like a potato. What do you like the most about teaching? About what? About teaching. Oh, I think like when I work with the students, like they have like so many fresh ideas and they see f a lot of like things and the world differently. So I think it's very enriching and they usually know the latest cool technologies. So <laughs> I'm learning also a lot of from them, <laughs> I would yeah. say. Yeah, and it's it's cool. Like I like to hang out with them in the gravity sketch. It's kind of favorite part of of the week for me. And I also like when you when you teach, you have to like improve your workflow in order to be able to to share it. So I would say so. I'm also learning a lot, and it's also great to see like how people evolve and de develop in the time and like to see them like oh they come like uh, i don't know like 18 year olds from from high schools and then they tell you like ah, i want to go for internship i don't know mm -hmm. to mercedes or somewhere and then you see like they they, they fulfill their, their goals and they they really achieve what what they were trying for years that's really yeah it makes me happy and what made you choose uh, car design? Hmm. I think initially, what was it like? I've seen a lot of like cool projects in the university because like in our university, like you have this first freshman year when you when you don't have to like choose the studio. So you have a year to decide where to go. And okay. we have like experimental design, interior design, like interior um, architecture design, industrial design, and then the transportation design. And I've seen like so many cool projects that are like guys, they were working with Audi, Volkswagen, and like they're presenting for these 
brands and like creating these concepts and working with different kind of materials and like latest technologies so i think that's that what drives me in like Initially, I didn't want to study transport design. I, I thought I will focus more on the industrial, but then, yeah, the environment like really inspired me to to go and study there, I would say. And what was your dream? Did you, did you want to work for any particular um, car brand? Oh, I really wanted to go to Mercedes, so, and I've been there for half a year in the exterior advanced so that was really like my dream dream job and yeah and i also wanted to go to italy so i went there for to pininfarina that was also a great time so Where you study actually uh, in bratislava academy of fine arts and design so and i'm teaching here and i'm like finishing my phd studies I mean, I already finished. I'm just waiting for my def defend day. How do you, how do you call it? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> so and I will see. But I, I would still like to go to industry, but yeah, I will wait till my baby is older, and then, <laughs> then I will go. Is it the interior or the exterior design that you enjoy? Sorry, I, I cannot hear you. Is it the exterior or the interior design? I would like to go to exterior, but like since the gravity is here, like I also like to um, explore the interior design because like interior design, when you don't have the perfect perspective in the sketch, is like it, like it looks weird, but yeah, it's like, I don't know. I have a problem with the perspective in, in interior. So the gravity is really helping me. Like you just sketch it in 3D and it's correct. <laughs> yeah. I think my I think my my model just crashed. Your model crashed. You look at it. It's like only wireframe. <laughs> yeah, I also I have problems. It, yeah, I still have problems even with the PC. It's it keeps really? on. Uh, uh, picking me out from the room. There might be too much, too much people. Too much or, girls. Yeah. <laughs> too much female <laughs> energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe there is actually some rule that it's girls only. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. Oh, what What does happen? Yeah. Think like it's not reacting. Like I can't click anything now, and what I see in my model is like wireframe. I, I see it. I see the vertex point vertices. Yeah. Can you maybe check your layers? Okay. Maybe I gotta quit. <laughs> oh, quick. I can Sorry. grab it and I can touch it and model it. Oh, really? No, no, no. There's grab it too. Part. I can grab it too. There is uh, another part underneath that part. Uh, Maybe if, uh, because you don't have to save this. If you go outside of the gravity and come back. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just try it. I don't know. Like maybe we, we really... Overstressed gravity. For gravity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you started with surfacing. Yeah, I kind of like the shape. So okay. Like, let me try to see. Like I only like the line work first, and then I was like, okay, let me try how it could be possible, you know, with surface. Uh -huh. So yeah, I what I like is like maybe it's gonna be opened and. Some strap is gonna be here, um, okay. or like even laces. I don't know. I kind of like usually with like um, slides. It's or with slippers. It's like closed here. Um, when you 3D print it, maybe I'm gonna leave it open. I don't know. So I kind of started with surfacing to see, okay, what possible um, like landmark only tells you so much about. 
how the surface is going to look and how the volume could be. So now I'm like trying to see, okay, how could the volume okay. like? It can be kind of like some kind of a transportation design too, <laughs> like <laughs> some boat or something. Yeah, I like transportation too, but I'm like, I never wanted to study it, but I really like the shape of transportation. Everything is like so glowy and organic. And... I, I, I think you, you could, you could do it because like you have like a lot of <laughs> dynamic elements in your shoes. Why so not <laughs> just stick some wheels to it, you know, and send it to BMW. You, you never know. <laughs> I'm just going to fly. <laughs> yeah. So thing is it working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah? come back. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. And think, how did you, like you studied the vehicle engineering and you finished master's or bachelor's? Oh, bachelor's. And then uh, why did you decide to study also the product um, design? I think I always w want to have like artistic expressions. Okay. And when I was learning vocal engineering, I was okay. basically learning more about the physical principles okay the, uh, like very fun fundamental things manufacturing about cars and uh, physics stuff okay um, yeah and like I have very long story to transiting from engineering to design um shortly it's like i was um... no like you can say the long version because like i have i've got so many dms like can i switch from vehicle engineering to, oh, yeah. to design so you can answer that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think like because of my culture i think i grew up in a very small town and everybody in that town uh, i mean like my hometown was like a car town and my family is very like an engineering family. Okay. So I was usually trained to become an engineer and everything I study was all about engineering related. Okay. And but so, so I, you were expected to study engineering, yeah? Yes, expected. Okay. And I I just uh, always have my like a lot of interests. I play violin, I draw, I do all like write calligraphy, all those type of stuff just kept as a hobby until my twenties. And then I came I came to I went to Beijing to like a bigger city, okay. like more fresh environment for me. Okay. So um I I start to get to know more people who are, are doing design art. Mm -hmm. um, I got to know people in the drawing circles okay. and they let me see all the different things. And I also was like uh, playing ballet in my school, university's orchestra and got to know people from different... Violin? Did you, did you say violin or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Violin, okay. But, yeah, um, yeah. So you are multi-talented, to... like you are engineer, Musician, designer, <laughs> like everything. <laughs> wow. Uh, like a lot of interest. <laughs> um, wow, nice. Yeah, so like in Beijing, I get to know many people from different backgrounds. And I feel like oh, I want to like not only um, be able to build in stuff in engineering perspective, I also be able, able to want to be able to design and okay. uh, like make initiate an idea and then make it come true so like, so, so you finished your uh, engineering in china and you started your design studies in the us correct yes okay in our center. okay yeah 
And how does the engineering part of you or the education and background influence your design? Um, I think that made me a really problem problem driven designer. Okay. Like I'm always trying to find the problem first. Okay. Like all my all my design projects started with research um and trying to understand the uh the whole context, the environment. Okay. And uh, I really want to know what is going on really and then trying to design like with the problem um like embedded <laughs> mm-hmm. and what's your like dream company or like dream client to to work with um i i find myself really really interested in the uh like um more about entertainment um it's okay. like your experience so okay. in summer I, I, f- I feel really lucky that I will start um, um, a new position with uh, uh, turn turn studio for Xbox and I oh, think can you repeat it like which studio uh, turn turn studio okay for Xbox and uh, like it is like I feel super lucky about it and I'm really excited about it it's about designing um user experience for the forza game okay but do you have to like know a lot of uh, about psychology you know for the experience user experience design or yeah um like um yeah like in our center i studied a lot about um, how do you do researches, how to get insight, um, um, and how do you build the whole design uh, based on the user, your target users, and bring the best experience to them. Okay. And you are studying in Art Center in Pasadena? Yes. Yeah. So in the best design school, like they say. <laughs> in the transportation <laughs> best. <laughs> okay, and like, can you tell us more maybe about the school, like about like these different, I don't know, studios, like how do they divide design there? Like I know they have a transportation design in Pasadena. Yeah, like their transportation design just like real cool. Like in one when people are still like in school um in the building you can always see um like those transportation students uh so they're the cool kids yeah in the the campus (laughs) taking their work on the wall and you can just see it and see how cool their shapes are okay yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah i feel our center I had a really great experience in our center and study here in U.S. I think. Okay. Like, also, I think one thing I like our center best is that you are not limited only to your own major. Okay. So, like, I'm studying product design, but I also can get access to environmental design, uh, entertainment, fine art classes. Mm-hmm. So based on your own interests, you can choose the course that you want to shape yourself. Um, Yeah, and uh, by taking different types of class, I really feel like my version get, my vision get grounded, and I feel very lucky to learn um, different, like very talented faculties and stuff there. Um, and peers, like all everyone is just uh, they have all different types of background, and everyone's just so talented, and you're just learning, always learning in that environment. Mm-hmm. And how are, how are the teachers there? Like, how does it work? Like, how how is the structure of the school? So you have the major, and you can also like try different things. How did you say? Yeah. Um. You mean the, how do you choose the courses? 
yeah like how how is the or, like organization of the of the studios of the whole study uh so like like other school we have the set of courses that you have to take okay. for each um major um uh and also you can there are, uh like for me i take other uh departments class okay uh based on my interest and then you can waive some class um from your own majors classes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there are some elect electives and sponsor project okay mm-hmm. so like uh uh based on different time different terms there are different companies coming to school and sponsor a class yeah i think that's the like so the really the- cool brands and like people come there to to develop a project with students yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i oh, think that's, that's cool. very important culture of our center okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay cool to check you. Okay, okay so you are do- designing like this sandwich like sole. Yeah. And what's the, what's the concept behind it? Like you have this soft yellow part and like more flexible pink one or so so one the sole shape is like um, this. I, just, I put two images here that like kind of like a scroll tail. Okay. I'm thinking I made the sole is like inspired by this type of shape that like twist to each other. Okay. And the color, I'm thinking the summer color, like. Lemon and orange. And watermelon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're gonna view cool. the top later. Yeah. I really like how it looks uh, almost like a chain, like the surface of the uh, sole. Yeah. Cool. Maybe I should carve this. Looking part. elegant. Cool. <laughs> 
Thank you. Ah, so you are, you are starting from the soul. From the yeah, bottom, yeah, I was. Um, well, I would say I just kind of like found some sort of sculpture I like. Okay. Um, now I have to get the proportion together. Like it's not ready for footwear at all. Um, so, yeah. But basically I started from here up there down. I'm sorry, my baby's screaming. <laughs> What? Just continue, Elisa. We we can hear you. All right. Yes. So um, I basically started from the upper going down um, one piece basically, and this is like one um, one area, one surface, um, and then wait, what happened? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I think I just lost my surface, which is so weird. Sorry? You lost surface? <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. What's going on? Is that what just happened to me? Maybe you can. Okay, I think... I think I may be crashing right now. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> step out for a second okay i hope i didn't delete it okay hold on so you are usually starting with the soul when you design ekaterina oh okay um uh, no it it uh really depends. I think this time is different because mm -hmm. uh, I just want to get uh, the proportions right. I just want to make sure that um, when I 3D print it mm -hmm. or when I scale it up and down, it's just proportional. And when I 3D print it, I, it will actually fit my foot um, because I had an experience before with my slider that I did before. It's on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. I tested for flexibility, but I, unfortunately I couldn't wear it because um, uh, the width was too narrow for my foot. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so I would love to try it, but that's the that's the experience that I learned from. So, mm -hmm. now, <laughs> so now you are paying attention to the proportions. Yes. yes exactly. Yeah, I see. So yeah. you really want to to make it wearable, okay? Yes. So I think I'm I'm really done with the foot. Um, I will show you the um, the layers. I started with the last, but I felt like it, um, the foot was giving me more freedom. Uh, okay. So this is the last that I just abandoned, and then um, you can see that I'm just gonna create another um, layer for this out. So, quickly hide it um, okay yeah so if, if you look yeah, I see it yeah way, you can see that it's now the shape of my foot which is on yeah the yeah if you look down so it really look, yeah so you have the arc yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah because my instep is um actually um bigger like it's slightly bigger than the usual um okay and uh, so yeah i had to make sure that i take that in consideration okay. when, you know amend the this foot but this foot was really handy because it has got the toes even though they're quite long but it doesn't really matter as well as <laughs> the side is um but yeah it's like it's your side of, of your yeah. foot yeah you <laughs> shouldn't have a problem to wear it Cool. Yeah, if you're gonna have a, a like um, strap going in between the toes, that that would matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put it, um, but in this case, I don't think that um, I'm gonna create that. I think I'm just gonna mm -hmm. um, have a um, strap, or I haven't really thought about the design yet. Um, but yeah, I think the foundation is pretty much there. So next step Good. is just to. Uh, 
create uh, the position of the outsole and just the overall um, okay. shape of it. Um, and then, you know, then I will um, create the concept board with uh, my inspiration, ideas, and then I will just try it all on this okay. shape. Yeah. Cool. Elisa, how is it? Like, Does it crash? Yeah, but it's crashing like sometimes when I'm stepping back into it. So I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I think I may have to restart surfacing, but that's not a problem because I need to figure out the right proportion anyway. Um, yeah, okay. but it's still not working very well. So like, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm not crashing again. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay okay so we are here for one hour and a half so <laughs> wow really really wow. and do you have do you know there is a clock on your see. left hand yeah i know <laughs> time in here goes way too fast yeah it's different reality <laughs> <laughs> When is it that we're looking to finish today? Do you think? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, have to, I have to sketch my idea further on paper um, because I want to redefine the main lines. Um, so I would have to, my next step would be anyway to go back to analog a little bit um, and then okay. go back to grab this sketch again. Yeah, the same here. Um, I think I'm pretty much done with my first step of um, creating the um, the shoe last foot and the outsole. Okay. Uh, so uh, the, my next step would be to create the concept board. Um, just bring some inspirational idea ideas to have some initial design ideas and mm -hmm. then bring it all together for the next stage of just applying it all to this um to this last that i created okay so do we organize a next session yeah let's do that okay think what do you think um i'm i think i i'm pretty much there i can I need to work on the top part. Okay. To, like I, I have the graphic here. You can see like the top view. I sketch it out. Um, so I'll add it. Um, yeah, and add some decorations around. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh yeah, you've done the whole soul. Mm -hmm. You're fast. Wow. Good. Do we have any questions on YouTube? Sorry? Do we have any questions on YouTube? Oh, guys, Tomasz, yeah, are now, there some questions yeah. from YouTube? No, there's just one new, uh, again, by Tom Humphrey. And there is, uh, uh, do, do you ever make your own shoes using shoe lasts and fabrics? OK. Ekaterina? Uh, yeah, I, I've actually made, well, I made a lot of shoes uh, during my university years and uh, I actually made my graduation shoes. I still got them. Um, so the answer is yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah, I have I have made those shoes. They do take a long time to make, um, but it's an amazing experience. And do you also work with leather? Yes, um, I worked with uh, uh, with leather uh, during my university years. I only use leather. Okay. It used to be a PU, but um, it doesn't really work very well on the last, um, especially when you try to maintain the shape of the lug. Um, but I've also had experience of using uh, Apple leather and Pinatex for um, my uh, sustainable project that I did. And these are very good uh, materials to try. I think Pinatex is, uh, is very uh, innovative uh, material out there. It's uh -huh. quite tradable. And you can actually contact the company and you can get some samples from them. Apple that is not so easy. Um, and I believe the minimum quantity is about 300 linear meters per color you have to order. So um, it's very hard to get, but Pinatex is definitely worth a try. Okay. Guys, I think I have to step out soon um, because I have another meeting. Okay. Are we, um, when are we going to do the next time? Yeah, we will discuss it over Instagram. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay, girls. So I think we can close it for today. Yeah, thank you so much, Lafia, for having us and for all the trouble that you had to go through. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, yeah. No this. problem. That was my favorite part, favorite type of trouble. So. <laughs> thank you so much. It's You're amazing. welcome. This was fun. Like, and, um, like it was stress in the beginning, but yeah, and now now I feel more relaxed, so it's good. <laughs> yeah, good. So thank you for everybody joining us today on YouTube and on Skype. And yeah, we will plan the next workshop where we will refine and define our designs. Yeah, and we will make some pretty gallery from the final models and then we will print it and we will make some cool reels from it <laughs> okay let me take a photo <laughs> okay so now i see you all so thank you and bye bye thank you bye 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 bye